Hi, I'm Justin Shively, and welcome to this week's Pelicans Top 10. A lot of great ballplayers have come and gone through the gates of Pelicans Ballpark over the years. With their gloves and with their bats, they have had great success in the minors and continue to have the success in the major leagues. Let's take a look at the top 10 ballplayers in the history of the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Kicking off the list at number 10 is Jared Saltalamacchia. Saltalamacchia played for the Pelicans in 2005, where he had a breakout season. Salty had a 314 batting average with 35 doubles, 19 home runs, and 81 RBIs. He got called up by the Braves on his 22nd birthday and got his first major league hit on May 6, 2007. Affectionately known as Salty, his last name has 14 characters, which is the longest name in the history of Major League Baseball. Number 9, Elvis Andrews. Andrews joined the Pelicans in 2007 and was selected to the All-Stars Future Game that year and in 2008. In 2009, he made his Major League debut with the Texas Rangers. Andrews earned All-Stars honors in 2010 and 2012. In 2009, Andrews earned the starting position at shortstop for the Texas Rangers at the age of 20. Checking in at number 8, Martin Prado. Prado was part of the 2005 Pelicans team and in 75 games he hit 306 with 34 RBIs. Prado made his major league debut with the Braves in 2006, going one for two and logging a triple. He made a 2010 All-Star game as an Atlanta Brave. Prado currently plays for the Arizona Diamondbacks. At number seven, Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell was drafted in the third round by the Atlanta Braves in 2008 and pitched for the Myrtle Beach Pelicans during the 2009 season. He was ranked the number five Atlanta Braves prospect after the 2009 season and he earned his first Major League save on September 19, 2010. Kimbrell is a three-time National League All-Star. He made the team in 2011, 12, and 13. He's also led the National League in saves for two seasons. Checking in at number six is Freddie Freeman. Freeman was selected in the second round of the 2007 draft by the Braves and played with the Pelicans during the 2009 season. In just 70 games, he posted a 302 batting average with the Birds. He made his Major League debut September 1, 2010 with the Braves and was recently named to the All-Star team in 2013. Freeman continues to light it up in Atlanta with 307 batting average and 73 RBIs. At number 5, Jason Hayward. Hayward played for the Pelicans in 2009 while posting a 296 batting average. In September, he was named the Meyer League Player of the Year for 2009 and on March 25, 2010, he was named the Braves' starting right fielder. Nicknamed Jay Hay, he won the Gold Glove Award in 2012 and was named an All-Star in 2010. Moving on to number four, second baseman Marcus Giles. Giles was drafted by the Braves in 1996 and was part of the inaugural season with the Pelicans in 1999. He had a 326 batting average with 40 doubles. Giles made his major league debut with the Braves in 2001. He made the All-Star team in 2003 and finished the season breaking the Braves record for doubles 49. Giles last played in the Major Leagues on September 28, 2007 with the San Diego Padres. Now moving on to number three, Brian McCann. McCann played for the Pelicans in 2004 where he hit 16 home runs with a 278 batting average. He made his Major League debut for the Braves in June of 2005. McCann became the first Braves player in franchise history to hit a home run in his first playoff at bat in October of 2005. McCann is a seven-time All-Star and five-time Silver Slugger Award winner. He also took home the MVP award in the 2010 All-Star Game. At number two, here's Adam Wainwright. Drafted 29th overall by the Atlanta Braves in 2000, Adam Wainwright played for the Pelicans in 2002. Wainwright led the league with 167 strikeouts. He also participated in that season's All-Star Futures Game. Wainwright has won two World Series championship rings and one gold glove in 2009. And though he came up through the Braves system, he never actually played a game for the Atlanta Braves. And rounding out the top 10, at number one, Rafael Fercal. Fercal led the way for the Pelicans in 1999, where he posted a 293 batting average with 23 stolen bases. He made his major league debut in April of 2000 and went on to win NL Rookie of the Year that season. Fercal has also won a World Series championship in 2011 and has made the All-Star game three times. Fercal's number two jersey is the only one to be retired in team history. Thanks for watching the Pelicans Top 10, and we hope to see you out of the game soon at TicketReturn.com Field at Pelicans Ballpark. I'm Justin Shively.